Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Troy Allen Gallat. Welcome to Trigger Time TV brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters. All right, guys, first out of the gate, Ms. Tatiana Whitlock talks about what you can do if you have to fight with a child in your arms. Hi, folks, Tatiana Whitlock here, Trigger Time TV. We're going to talk about a pretty serious range time activity that simulates real life, and that's practicing for concealment with an infant in arms. It doesn't get much more serious, more heartfelt than having to protect the lives of your children. And if you're a concealed carrier and a parent, this is a really useful exercise to work at the range. Now obviously we're not gonna bring our kids to the range, throw them on our hip, and just let it loose. So what we can do to bridge the gap is simulate the weight and relative size of an average toddler. So select a backpack that's pretty much torso length of your kid and throw in some weight. The average toddler weighs about 35 pounds. So we're just gonna load this bag up with as much kit as we can and the goal, of course, is to make this backpack simulate that squirmy munchkin that you know and love. So we'll take that bag, get set up to hit the range. What we're going to do is we're going to bring it out and sling that bag on your hip just like you would your kid. Now, obviously, we're moving, we're walking, the world isn't perfect. And we're probably more concerned about our groceries than about drawing from concealment on demand. So what we're going to need to do is talk about the technicalities of making that correct so that when, if, when and if we had to do it, we could do it fluidly and effectively. For the purposes of instruction, we'll work at this distance, about three yards. What that means is that we don't have the opportunity to avoid or evade. It requires us to fight where we stand. Now I've got two options at this point because I'm not interested in range choreography. We need to start making decisions and making them good ones. I have the choice in this normal just walking position. Am I going to step forward, getting myself even closer to Mr. Bad Guy into the known? Or am I going to step backward, giving myself a little bit more distance between the bad guy, myself and my child? It's going to be situationally dependent. You're going to have to make some tough choices. So for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to choose to step back, maintaining the distance I have muzzle to muzzle with our threat. First thing I'm going to do is make sure that my fighting side, my right hand drawing side toe is still pointed towards the target. I'm then going to drive my non-firing foot back plant it firmly into the ground, and turn my torso so that I put all of my body mass between the bad guy and my child. I'm now going to need to draw and engage. So one-handed draw technique, grasping the material high, ripping high, tucking tight behind the grip of the gun, driving the hand directly onto that grip, high out and straight into the bad guy. Three good hits, minimum of three. Let's say for the purposes of this drill that they were effective. The bad guy's fallen down. Check your work through your sights. We're going to do an effective scan. Make sure that they didn't come with friends. Bring the gun back. Now you may need to control that gun by anchoring it into your hip. And if that's the case, that's fine. This is where you look for a way out, for help, or for a place to move with your child to safety. Now what we're gonna need to do here is reholster the gun. Now what we need to make sure is we're not occluding ability to seat the gun securely in. So this thumb is going to make sure it pulls away any garments that may get in the, the, uh, the holster itself. And then we're going to reset our cover garment, address our child, make sure they're safe, make sure we haven't received any incoming rounds. Obviously, this is something that we're gonna do with a severe amount of mindset and attitude in play. This isn't a drill we giggle through. This is something we take very seriously because it is as close to the real thing as we ever hope we have to get. All of this mindset, all of the preparation, it's amazing what this awkward thing that starts slipping down your hip as you're trying to fire, how that might draw your attention away from your intended objective, which is keeping yourself and your family safe. The bottom line is make sure that when you go to the range, you're training in the context of your life for the fight of your life. Train with intention. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Frostbreed Holsters, Glock, 
Velocity Systems, Mayflower Research and Consulting, Lucid Optics, Bravo Company USA, Lucas Oil Outdoor Line, Christensen Arms, Silencer Co., Primary Weapon Systems, Law Tactical, Nemo Arms, and Flint River Armory.